In times like these, often if we look at antiquarian books, we'll find timeless advice that is still applicable even today. For instance, in uh, the 19th century, there was a, a whole movement of self-improvement, uh, and this book here, aimed at young men in, from 1833, is the perfect example of that. It's for a manual of politeness, intellectual improvement, and moral deportment, the building of character, which in fact is, is, is essential and timeless, and not on display uh, oftentimes uh, from people in this internet age. Uh, but this book here covers the whole range of topics, uh, faces of men to be studied, the choice of your friends, your expectations, the debt and credit, the advantages of female society, the choice of books. Look at this. It, it's really a, a, an all-encompassing approach to how to be a good citizen and a good person and a good human being. Uh, and here's advice to manners and behavior, advice on entering upon business, uh, things about anger and revenge and dueling, the temptations of a city life. <laughs> it's great. Nice engraved uh, half title uh, and frontis, by the way. Here we are, like so. And this second book is also advice to young men, but of a different nature. Beautiful period um, tree calf binding with a Morocco gilt spine label. And what this book addresses, and again, what we see here, nice early inscription, uh, 1838. So these are both 1830s books. But this is counsels to young men on modern infidelity and the evidences of Christianity. And uh, this is... <laughs> Well, a more specific type of advice, <laughs> uh, primarily religious, which is uh, typical of this era. And so these two uh, books uh, on advice to young men uh, are available as a pair online from me, Brian DeMambro.